Tonight is the first night of a new state mask mandate for all indoor locations. This goes for bars, restaurants, gyms, salons, and more. Kick it on, Nicole Comstock has more from Rancho Cucamonga tonight, where she got reaction to the new rule. It's a lot like a conveyor belt. The way mask mandates just keep coming back around in California. Anytime we're interacting with the customer, we're wearing them. Here at Town Square Cleaners in Rancho Cucamonga, they didn't know about the latest statewide indoor mask mandate that went into effect today. Their employees have been masked behind plexiglass for months. But as far as enforcement goes. As far as our customers, if they're wearing them, it's kind of we leave it up to them, so we're not really necessarily enforcing it. In fact, most of the Inland Empire businesses we talked to hadn't heard about it either and say a year and 10 months into this pandemic, they fear their customers have hit a wall with COVID restrictions. It goes without saying that masks have become an incredibly divisive issue and one that many business owners are not comfortable talking about on camera. That's why one at local gym owner told us off camera that he is not enforcing this new mask mandate because he believes his customers have a right to make that decision for themselves. LA County already had a local indoor mask mandate, so the latest change comes for those in Ventura, San Bernardino, Riverside, and Orange counties. Many in the IE and OC have been more vocal about defying mask mandates. I go to the gym a lot. I hate wearing masks. It's awful. You know, it's like hard to breathe, but at the same time, I do respect others. Others like I was happy. <laughs> Jamie Rios. She says she and her husband are in a high risk group because they both have autoimmune disorders. So going out is already a little nerve wracking for us. So now knowing that that's a mandate kind of alleviates some of the nerves. And this mask mandate is set to expire in one month on January 15th. But some people say they won't be surprised if it gets extended. Reporting in Rancho Cucamonga, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.